So thanks to Mr. Alton Brown, uh, cook, chef, TV personality extraordinaire, um, he has determined a what he considers to be a safe way, and I agree with him, to fry a turkey. Um, of course, he does not advocate cooking it in your garage like I am. Nobody in their right mind would. But I have reason to believe that we will not set the house on fire. And so this thing's called the Alton Brown Turkey Derrick. We have a standard, this is actually a seven foot ladder. His uh, plans call for an eight foot ladder, but I don't have one. Um, piece of cotton, cotton uh, sash cord, uh, a swivel pulley, a straight pulley, and a quick, quick uh, link carabiner, whatever you call it. This is used to snap onto the basket that's holding the turkey. Uh, this is a bowline uh, knot, which is a very good knot, and also it's a knot that you can untie. We tie that down here, we get this going up like this down this side, and then we have a, uh, we have a, what's called a, a, a cleat for, for a drapery cord or something like that, just a small cleat, that way you can wrap it around there in a figure eight, and then you tuck one, tuck the tail under, and it will hold it for you. It's an easy one. And then, um, so this, the whole point of this is so that you're not standing over the fire, lowering it, the turkey into it. Once that is, it, once that oil is up to temperature, instead you can stand over here to the side and lower that sucker in and keep yourself out of harm's way. Uh, this is a, a new thermometer that I have just purchased today, and we're trying to get this oil up to 325 degrees before we put that turkey in, and um, we're already up to almost 160 degrees, which is pretty amazing uh, how fast that, that goes. So we're, we have a, we're having a little cook-off here today with Dale and I. Uh, we have my turkey rig and, and my turkey, and then his, his turkey rig that is part, part his and part mine. Um, and right now we're just trying to get these guys up to temperature, and then we'll have a taste test afterwards. And um, I'm sure that Dale thinks he's going to win, and I think he's not. We're up to about 325 degrees, so I'm going to go ahead and drop this turkey in there. You see, I have, I have control over it. I can lower it very, very slowly. And I'm just using one hand here. And it's really very easy. I'm going to put, it, put, it back, put the rope back through this cleat and secure it right where I, where I like it. I, I left it a little bit, it's not touching the bottom of the pot. It's actually it's suspended up a little bit. And um, now this thing's gonna cook for a little while. All right, so here we go with turkey number two. This one doesn't have a cleat on it, so I gotta do a little bit different thing here. Tying knots is what T.I. learned from all the years he hung out at the docks with the sailors. <laughs> the longshoremen. So, we're going to go ahead and clip it onto the, this little rig here. Okay, and it's just hanging above the oil, waiting to, waiting to go in there. Now we're going to slowly lower it in. sit right on the bottom. Alright, so what's the goal here? We're going to put the uh, thermometer somewhere? Yes. The, the, what I'm going to try to do here is get this bird rotated enough that I can get this thermometer stuck in the breast meat, which I'm ba barely going to be able to do. I'm going to try and get it up to 151 degrees in the breast meat and presumably pull it out.
right, so sometimes they say, if you want to get something done right, you can do it yourself. Fortunately, I got these gloves from TR. We're now going to put the thermometer in our bird. Here it is. We're going to probably stick it in the breast here. Right about there. That's just going to be a good reading there. All right, so got that like this. And we'll leave the bird hovering over the boiling oil. Got it? So what's the discussion uh, here? The discussion is what what temperature is done enough for us to take it out of the oil. Um, so there's this theory of carryover cooking, which is espoused by many. Uh, it's never seemed to work quite like that for me. Um, then there's the the discussion of whether or not the light the the, the white meat and the dark meat are done at a different temperature, actually, which I, I do think is probably the case, but the last thing we want is for anybody to complain about it being chewy and underdone or potentially unsafe. And I think you can get chewy and underdone and actually be exactly safe. Conversation left. But yes, seems, seems like we do this every year and somehow we all survive, we all get fed and nobody got sick. So. So what, what temperature has been agreed to then? I think 160, 165 on the on the on the thermometer. Birds out then. Yep. And now here it is. Take this one inside and go get another tray for the other one. 